Now, Kiricho Governor Professor Paul Chepkon appeared before a committee hearing a proposal to impeach him. Chepkon maintained his innocence of allegations of floating the constitution and procurement laws. Ashamwilu has the details. We are asking the Senate. It was Paul Chepkonyi's turn on the hot seat. For three hours, the embattled Kericho governor sat before a special Senate committee as members of his county assembly argued why the governor should be impeached. In procuring solar power for the county, the governor acted as if there is no regulatory framework, as if there are no procurement laws in this country, and he proceeded as if he owns the county. So the county assembly was seized of this matter. Evidence, Mr. Chairman, was tabled before the assembly touching on how county resources were committed by the very hand of the governor who is a CEO. And the evidence bore out one very critical element, that it was not in line with the requirements of the law Members of the Kericho County Assembly maintain that the governor violated the Constitution, the County Government Act, the Public Procurement and Disposal Act, and the Public Finance Management Act. However, through his legal counsel, Chepkwonyi argued his innocence and accused the County Assembly members of witch hunt. The County Assembly has attempted to impeach the governor before. This is not the first time. The governor will ably explain that uh, in his opening statements. Number two, the impeachment proceedings was a knee-jerk reaction. The governor, the truth be told, filed a constitutional petition in Kericho, constitutional petition number four of 2014, where uh, he sought certain declaratory orders against the assembly. At the end of this committee, it will be clear beyond peradventure that the county assembly acted dutifully, it acted in the right manner, it followed the law, and it has presented a clear case of a governor who should not be sitting and discharging the office of governor. We have video evidence to demonstrate that during the voting of these proceedings, a member of the county assembly was drunk. Serious allegation which we have, uh, we, we have video evidence, and we, these are some of the issues which we really need to interrogate for purpose of making sure that we comply strictly to the provisions of the constitution. The hearing will resume Thursday. After its probe, the 10-member committee will hand over its report to the Senate, which will decide on Chepkwonyi's fate. Ashamwilu, KTN, Nairobi.